Today, we're working on the beta 1.6 and 1.7 updates to the game. Welcome back to collecting every block in Minecraft by release order. Continuing the trend of updates that add basically nothing to the game, Beta 1.6 adds trap doors, which takes us a solid 30 seconds to collect. That's it. That's all we really can get in this version. Like other wooden blocks, it will have different wood types eventually, and when that happens, the trapdoors that we made today will count for oak trapdoors, since that is the only type of wood in the game at the moment. There is another feature that I'm interested in in Beta 1.6, and that is maps, which is not a block at all, but it would be cool to see the areas surrounding us completely mapped out. When traveling is as slow as it is, and without sprinting or elytra wings, this was a big deal. Something we definitely take for granted in the modern versions. Oh, that's so tiny. Oh, it's so tiny. Uh, there's no offhand, so I have to keep this obesely large map in my hands here while we explore it. Um, let's get a boat, because I feel like a lot of this map's gonna be in the water here, but let's fill out the map. Yeah, let's go this direction. I'm gonna try to do, like, how you... How you... And this is very specific. I don't know how many of you have done this, but have you ever decorated, like, a cinnamon bun? Like, you put the frosting on the cinnamon bun, you do the swirly, you start with the outside, then you swirl it inside. That's how I'm gonna fill in this map here, okay? I'm gonna do the outside, then we're gonna swirl into the inside here. All right. That is minus this one teeny tiny pixel right there. Right there, okay. That's the entire map mapped out. That's our whole area. Unfortunately, item frames aren't a thing yet, so we don't uh, have the ability to like hang it up anywhere, but that's okay. It looks like disfigured Europe. France is right there. Okay, so like looking up here, that's France right there. And then this is like the Mediterranean. And then like down there, over there's Italy. Spain had like the worst flood in the world. Portugal is gone. Yeah, Portugal has been succumbed to the ocean. RIP Portugal. Despite how close we are to getting to full release, there is still a lot of strange bugs that we're finding. What is, what is this? What's going on here? Is it one like... That's a sapling. That's a sapling. I'm gonna break them. Are they gonna stack? No. Very strange. Cool. Well, that's just beta Minecraft for you. Another non-block that I'm interested in getting is a clock. It's a bit primitive, but carrying a compass, map, and a clock was quite handy before a lot of the luxuries we have now were introduced. All right. Um, we're on to beta 1.7.3. Beta 1.7.3 adds shears, which will make tall grass, ferns, and dead bushes finally acquirable. They also add pistons and sticky pistons. Beta 1.7 is the final update before the adventure update, which revolutionized Minecraft. For many people, myself included, it feels like the final version of old Minecraft. And in this final version, the sticky piston seems to be the block that will take us quite a while to get, considering the fact that I haven't seen a single slime in this entire series, on camera or off. Oh, the cobblestone texture! Okay, I don't know how y'all feel about this, the cobblestone texture is now the new cobblestone texture. Oh, it's- I gotta be honest with you, chat, it's so much nicer. First of all, the big thing that got added in this update was shears, not a block, but does allow us to acquire blocks. And I think it makes it so that you can get leaves from trees. Indeed, leaves. So there's leaves, but then there's birch leaves, oak leaves, spruce leaves. Like, yeah, okay, so they're all considered leaves, but there are three different types. So I think this is oak, this is spruce, and this is birch. And eventually those will be counted as their respective type of leaf. But for now, they're all just leaves. But we'll put them in there regardless. Shears do allow us to get leaves, but I mistakenly thought that we could get tall grass and ferns in this update as well. Huh. Oh. Okay, I'm mistaken. That will not be until beta 1.8. 
Now to explore the deep recesses of my brain to remember how to make pistons. So this is gonna be tough. I think it goes like this, 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 this. Holy shit, he's so good. I haven't made one of those in like, literally years? There's no swamps to get slime super easily, so you have to find them underground. Urgh, that's gonna be really annoying. That's gonna be really annoying. The way that I'll go about getting slimes is to just go underground and dig out an area for slimes to spawn. Slime spawning works in chunks. A chunk is either a slime chunk or not a slime chunk. Chunks themselves are 16 by 16 areas in your world. And only about 10% of chunks are slime chunks. And then they only spawn below Y16 in this version as well. All of this is to say that they are really, really rare. But luckily, you can use a tool on Chunk Base where you upload your world and it tells you which chunks are slime chunks, just to make this tedious process a little easier. And if you think that that's cheating, well, then that's fine. You're entitled to that opinion. But I'm gonna do it anyway. As it turns out, we have a slime chunk very close to where my hole is here, so we don't have to go very far away at all. I must have literally, like, dug into a slime chunk if that's the case, man. Oh! My god! Dun! Dun! <laughs> Look how much damage my armor just took from fall damage! Very curious as to why all of my armor gets damaged from falling. It did protect me, but man, I, I just made this stuff. Oh, I'd rather have just died. The best way to ensure that slimes spawn where we want them is to make sure that other mobs do not spawn where we don't want them. Do you see all those floating numbers up there? Well, in this version, you could use that to see where mobs are, as every mob has an ID number above its head. We can abuse this feature to find where mobs are spawning and light up those caves. The less non-slime mobs that spawn, the more slimes that spawn. That's simple math. Alright, I've definitely strayed well up... Rude. I've lit up quite a bit of caves around me now, to the point where I'm not even close to the slime chunk anymore, so let's return back and start making an area for the slimes to spawn. The way that we'll do this is we'll dig out a 16 by 16 area, perfectly hollowing out the slime chunk below Y16. Now this may not seem too tedious, but do remember that this is before the days of instantly mining stone with Efficiency 5 and Haste 2, and we're using a basic diamond pickaxe, so this is gonna suck. Or wait, it was- it was 7, right? The Z was 7. Ah, shit. Ah, biscuits. Ah, god damn it. Uh, and I have no wood. I can't even make, like, a fucking wooden pickaxe. Ah! Dag, please, no, go home. I don't know how to get home. I'm lost. How do I vamoose? Skeedaddle, perhaps? You shoot at me, but for what reason? To what means? To what means? Yo, why are they, like, coming out of, like... Well, he's never gonna hit me, because they're all coming out, like, a foot above his head. Interesting. You're right there, man. He's not alright. At fire rate? Yeah, I mean... With the outline of the chunk now dug out, it's time to get rid of everything else inside of the border. And this is what's left, a 16x16 16 16 spawning platform dug perfectly into a slime chunk. Sadly, the work is not done yet. We now have to keep unloading and reloading that chunk to get a slime to spawn, which is easy since I can just walk back and forth down this hallway I dug, but I still am having no luck. Things are spawning elsewhere though, so I don't really get it. Do I have to stay 24 blocks away or keep doing what I'm doing where I just keep walking back and forth? It, it's not proving to be very good, it seems. I'll be kind of mad if it's a spawner. Remember how far I searched to get a spawner for mossy cobblestone? And then only to find out that I had one, like, right here? I'd be kind of mad. I'd be a little bit cheesed off there, I say. This is a nasty little pickle, I say. It is a spawner! No! It is a spawner! I had one so close! Oh, no! 
Oh my god. What kind of spawn? I mean, this is still good because that means I can make a farm really close by. Oh my. I found a double spawner. It's a double spawner. Oh my god, it's a double spawner. Holy shit. I searched for... What was it? Uh, like, over an hour to get a spawner for mossy cobblestone? And I had one right here. I can make a heck of a mob farm with this. Well, with that distraction out of the way, back to our slime experiment. I thought that was Herobrine for a second. Well, hold on now. Look at all this. Look at all this. Look at all those guys down there. I don't suppose that's where my slime farm is, surely. Oh, okay, so that is where it is, but that's a spider that I heard. Okay, so... Okay, so going to the surface and then coming back... Going to the surface and coming back did cause things to spawn? Going to the surface to move far enough away from the platform is annoying, so I'm going to utilize my giant Minecraft brain to come up with a more automatic solution. I can set up a minecart track that loops about 40 blocks away so I can kick back and relax while waiting for slimes to spawn, but while getting that set up, this happened. Okay, boys. Need you to vamoose here for a second. Oh, hi there! This is an old bug where if you didn't kill the slime by dealing exactly how many hearts it has remaining in damage, it does not split or drop slime balls. Had I known that at the time, I would have been done with today's episode by now. But on the bright side, we do get to finish our sick-ass minecart track. This should work, right? Oh my god, the days of minecarts being silent. Okay, it's... It's working! But holy shit, look at all that stuff up there. This task a grueling one, hope to find some diamonds tonight, night, night, diamonds tonight. Do zombies break doors? No, that's not until well in the future. Hang on. Surely. Yeah. Look at that. I'm a genius. I'm a mother effing genius. Roller coaster strats undefeated. And that is everything in this version of the game. Next episode will be the adventure update, which is a two-part update that includes beta 1.8 and the first official release of Minecraft version 1.0. Those updates are going to be huge. But thank you for watching, and join me on Twitch to catch the live versions of these videos. And if you don't have Twitch, or prefer YouTube, then go to my second channel where the unedited streams of these videos are uploaded as well. Become a channel member if you want to go the extra mile to support my work, and thank you again for watching, and I will see you next week for the adventure update.